Good evening all, Mac Blogs here, aka Ian. I'm just going to put out there, this video is a few months after I've been on this trip, latest trip to Orlando. I'm actually just back from California trip. However, I wanted to put this video out, which will be a short video, just detailing the Uber costs. I've done this before and it has been helpful and useful. So in total, in short, I'm going to run through the, the trips that I carried out from the airport to my hotel back and in between but in total that was about $162 which currently is around 120 odd, 22 pounds in total for all the trips that I've done on this occasion so my trip this year, well I've been twice but the recent trip this video is based on is from the 1st of June to roughly the 8th, 9th of June for these trips so Let's get stuck into it. So the first trip is I arrived at Orlando International Airport and this time I decided to get an Uber rather than the previous trips that I've tried or transport I've tried. I've tried the Mears, the Express, uh, all that Magical Express that is and I want to try an Uber, so this Uber cost, I was staying at the Wyndham Garden Lake and if you've seen the series of videos that I've just put out, you'll know where I stayed, if not, I'll put links down below in the description but this trip was $32 from the airport to the hotel, which is reasonable when you think about it and yeah, it's, it didn't take too long, just make sure you're on the right level I just show that in the videos, I'll try and put some clips in just now as well showing that but yeah, it's a reasonable price in my opinion and from what I remember the trip took around 30 minutes, half an hour so very reasonable like I say and very affordable in my opinion there's no fuel costs and everything they get. everything is incorporated if there's any tolls, things like that then that is incorporated all the costs that I'm given is before tip so I haven't done it after tip because that is down to yourself how much you want to tip but this is the cost before tipping if you wish to tip on the app that is so next trip I made on this uh, trip on this uh, adventure that I was on was uh, Universal so I wasn't staying at Universal Hotel or in the Universal area I was staying next to Disney Springs area in Walt Disney World and I've got an annual pass for Universal Studios so I thought why not go for the day there and spend the day there so I went over to Universal via Uber again and spent the day there. So Uber over, roughly, well not roughly, I've rounded it up to be fair to the kind of nearest uh, dollar. So this one was $18. So $18 trip from my hotel over to Universal Studios in the morning, just before 10am in the morning. And that never took long, that was about a 20 minute trip as well. Spent a day there, had a good day there. Hopefully you've seen that video, that vlog. Such a fun day, such an amazing park to be at. Cannot wait to be back. To be on lots more videos of myself at Universal Studios, of course, in the future. And coming back, it was a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a, a saga, really, because when you're trying to find a location on the app, it's a certain location, and you need to. It's yeah, some of the Ubers go down downstairs, like the ground floor level. I was in the Jurassic Park level, it's called where they have a whole area for rideshare, for Uber, Lyft, taxi drop off, that kind of thing, that's where I was at, so just try and keep in mind that you picked the right one, I had a few cancellations on me because they went to, the Uber went to the ground floor level and couldn't find myself, so it was a bit of a delay, that would hopefully help you not get delayed and not get cancellations, but I did manage to get a trip back and it was again 25 minute trip back which was about 25 dollars again reasonable i am not staying that close 25 minute trip which a dollar a minute uh, to get to get back to the hotel safely is uh, reasonable in my opinion so we were very very good very good driver i was getting a little bit of a lecture if you've seen that video of uh, well, i was just asking some questions of if, if i was picking the right uh, location for the pickup as well but good video hopefully you've enjoyed that and uh, yeah, that was that was a, another fun day. But the next 
trips I made was the day that my trip got cancelled to Clearwater Beach. So I decided to go about shopping, go to Vineland. So Vineland is a premium outlet shopping area where you have the, I went to the Disney outlet store. I had some food, then left I went to Walmart from there. Then I went to Target from there. Then I went to Eli's. Large Orange, Went to the, always wanted to go to Orange World, the big large orange. Um, so I went in there and checked out that it's just recently opened because of a, a bad fire that I had. So those breakdowns, I've wrote them all down here because there are all quite a few of them. So from my hotel, started off in my hotel again, over to the Vineland shop and said the centre was $9, just rounded up to the closest dollar. From Vineland Premium Outlet to Walmart was also nine dollars. Walmart to Target was fourteen dollars. Now these trips all take between maybe five to fifteen minutes, so that's they're not very very far from where I was staying from the hotel. So it's all very convenient. Just a dot around. Not really convenient for walking, which is why I had to take an Uber. And if you're not driving like myself, hence why I'm doing this type of video is to give that information out to do the comparison of comparing hire a car to uh, using an Uber so or Lyft as well I've done a video on Lyft which is the other rideshare app as well so very similar Uber Lyft there's no I'm not getting it's not a sponsored video I'm not getting told to say this this is just my personal experience so but yeah then I went to from Target to Orange World that was $14 as well and that was about 10 minutes from the target that I was at. So that was 9, 9, 14 and 14. And then from Orange World back to my hotel was $12. So not bad at all. I was doing a lot of dotting around to be fair. Just to check out the, the stores, see what was new. I showed some clips in the videos as well if you've seen that video. All the videos are on my channel to watch if you want to see in more depth of the details that I've covered. I just had a fun day really going around all these different shops. So that was really cool to get back into a Walmart, I could spend all day in a Walmart and a Target uh, as well and probably spend a lot as well so I did, I did spend a little bit but not too much, I did, want, I did spend a little bit on these kind of merch things and some Florida t-shirts and things like that if you've seen the videos, some some unique things that you can't really get back back home which is which I look for when I go to Walmart, Target and just a good look around to be honest. Back to the notes, so that was it for that day. The last trip of this hotel, this uh, the, it's because I see a hotel there. The last uh, Uber trip in this trip, this vacation, this holiday, uh, was twenty nine dollars from the hotel to the airport, which took roughly about twenty five minutes. So, again, very convenient, not long at all, very safe. I am travelling solo, travelling myself on this trip, and. Yeah, I, I never had any issues at all, again, with Uber. I've had the odd yeah, cancellation, possibly down to myself, possibly down to miscommunication or experience on the Uber driver's end, on my end. That happens, you just got to keep keep going, keep trying, and uh, you'll, you'll get home and, and stay safe. That's, that's the main thing. So, yeah, that's a comparison. So $162 for all those trips. That's just about a week for myself and yeah, I think it's reasonable. It is all based of course if you're staying centrally. If you want to go and explore more of Florida, of course possibly looking at hiring a car. I haven't looked into the other services that are available, available like Brightline service for example. You get the train that can take you direct to Miami and things like that. So there is a Brightline train which one day I will try and get on which is supposed to be convenient and very very reasonably priced as well so that's something I'm going to look into in the future to be honest but yeah this is just easy for me to say I know I'm travelling myself and yeah it's very very cost effective for myself because I'm staying centrally going to Clearwater Beach I can use other companies which is again reasonably priced I think last time I went to Clearwater Beach that video was up from last year that was around about I don't know, $56, $60 for a day. I got a coach taken there, taken back, brought back to my hotel. For for that, I get to spend the day at Clearwater Beach. 
which was very reasonable to myself rather than hiring a car and fuel and insurance and all that kind of stuff so yeah and just just sit back relax and not having to drive is, is my aim as well just to to enjoy the scenery take it all in and yeah enjoy it so that's just my opinion that's what I like to do and I do want to see more of Florida so probably would have to hire a car in the future if I want to see more of Florida but for now based I'm not based in Orlando but when I go there I'm mainly based in Orlando and it is pretty central to be honest so hopefully that video has helped any questions leave them down below anything I've missed leave them down below send me a message on Instagram Facebook all that kind of stuff and of course if you found it useful and want to enjoy the videos hit subscribe support the channel and uh, yeah I'll see you all in the next video take care bye bye